Barbara Ayala Rug Deal, or Bard, and I'm a mixed media artist. I've been exploring certain materials in my work, specifically glass and resin. And glass I started working with over the summer as an artist in residence. Initially, it was just to experiment with a different starting plane than canvas, but it developed into looking at layers and light and how that interacted with my art. And as for resin, I have been wanting to explore that for a very long time. Finally, with the pandemic, I had enough time to create and decided it was time to learn it and incorporate it into my artwork. And that has been very exciting and fun. I've been continuing my focus on environmental art but been branching out to focus on endangered species specifically. I want to share with you one of my latest pieces, The Ripple Effect. It's a public artwork about to be installed on the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail in Concord. It's my largest work to date. It was a huge undertaking for me. I got to explore some mixed media elements that I love to work with fabric and resin. Both sides have a different scene, but both are exploring that ripple effect in both nature and in our lives. And I find myself coming back to fabric so often. I love the challenge of manipulating it to make it echo this flora. And it's often items that I come across to reuse that spark ideas as well. Like this fun last minute edition, uh, I found glow in the dark rope. I thought it was a perfect match for my flowers stamen. And of course I got to experiment with resin on a large scale, both sides, and it was a beautiful freeform experiment creating these ripples and this water. And like a lot of my work, it has three elements and also a very textural focus. I have a running collection in my studio of my items and fabric offcuts that interest me. I have really random or unique items that I love the challenge to try and reuse. I have textures and colors that I'm really drawn to, and I can go back, dig through my boxes, return to my collection, and it sparks ideas in a really tangible way. A big inspiration and motivator to me is my sister. As a self-taught artist, She's really my teacher and my advisor as she's working through to get her own degree. I love her art and imagination, and I really rely heavily on her for critique and opinions as I go through my own process. I actually have one of her pieces from class, a pointillism piece, in my studio, and it brings a lot of joy and a lot of calm. She's also the most hardworking person I know and an all-around motivator for my art practice. 